Yes, uh, no dev video last week. Uh, we were getting everything ready for Alpha 3.0, which is now out. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been playing. Um, this week, what we wanted to do is just sort of do a bit of a playthrough, uh, show you some tips and tricks and some play styles that we do. Um, so yeah, we'll get right into it. Gustav's just started up. He's put down a security guard. We'll um, explain some of the improvements we've made to the security system in a bit. Um, but first things first, he's going to... Just set, setting up the basics uh, so we can have a functioning museum. Yeah. And the, the, yeah, we just want to, to demonstrate how far the gameplay has come along um, and what you can actually do now. Yeah. Just send these guys, just want some... Uh, want some, some fakes. Some fakes to come through. This can be made into a more efficient way because um, fakes also increase and boost the awe of your real stuff. So you've got the Brachiosaurus exhibit here and that will boost those two guys. So you see the all bars now are a lot bigger than they were. Yeah. So just make good use of those things. Open the black market, see if there's anything interesting. Yeah, let's say that throws an acorn. Yeah. So as you build up your park, um, we're gonna go through the tour guide system, show a few tips there and and a bit more, show a bit more how that works in depth, and we'll also explain the security system. So, just place down the the lake one. You've got a nice little row there now. Um, hopefully, your expedition will come back soon. I'm going to give these guys the babies as well, like the yeah. stand, bug stand, and a couple of toilets. Good shout. Always helps. <laughs> after you start building your stands, it's a good thing to build a few trash, trash cans because some players might not know actually trash impacts your ore. So if uh, some trash has been laid in front of a relic, uh, that will reduce your ore bar. So it is important to make sure that you have some janitors and bins in the uh, in the museum. Got so your relic came back. Come, come you got you got some amber, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. It's oh, an uncommon. Good. It's always good. We can pop that. Come on, put that there. It doesn't look too good in front of the trash bins at the moment because uh, I'm not disabling them like I do. I'll show you if I put a trash bin in front of um, of a stall. It, it takes the other one away. Yeah. Uh, I'm not doing that yet with the with the museum pieces, so they figure out what to do. Yeah. And I'm just going to build a couple of fakes, a couple of fakes, just to boost um, my current ones. You see, there's, there's two bars there. There's a, a light blue bar first. That's the amount of what our object actually gives, and that green bar on top is is the multiplier. So fakes multiply the regular value of the regular relics. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, so they do boost uh, your surrounding relics and they also give a bit of ore themselves. And for some players who might be quite new, the other thing fakes do is they also have certain special abilities. So for example, the suggestive stones make some guests thirsty and hungry, which makes them want to buy food. Uh, and then we have other things that hunt out thieves and other things that pull money from guests. So it's going to build our first tour as well. Yeah, is it time for a tour? I think it's about... I'll so, it's a simple one. Yeah. So the tour guide system um, is going to be your main source of income. Uh, donation stands are good for pocket money, but tour guide stands are where you're going to be making your big bucks. So Gustav's now just laying out certain things that will make the tour better. So for example, podium uh, increases the educational value of the tour, um, and, but you don't want to have too many because if otherwise it will get boring and be over long. He's also placing some placeholder decor that will change for the next build. We'll have proper decorations in. This decor uh, increases the score of, our, of your tour. And one of the, um, the things that we want to do with the decor is for you to place it in areas that you're not going to get as much uh, awe out of. So, for example, I've put the stand there. Uh, and I, by putting a decor immediately opposite it, it I'm, I'm taking a spot that I, I could not get to. Maximum amount of awe. Exactly. So, I'm, I'm basically using the wasted, wasted space. space. To, to put a relic in there. So for example, this spot here as well. If I put a relic in there, you're only going to get oh, that spot. You're only going to get um, uh, all from one side. So since that's kind of a wasted space, I'll put the decor there and I'm using it a lot better. If you want to get the maximum score from your tours, uh, you're going to have to think strategically about where you place all of your uh, your decor and your fakes and your and your podiums. So you just got some gold bars as well. For some players who don't know, gold bars, uh, they're not quite a relic, uh, but you can sell them for 2,500? Yeah, yeah. 2,500, so depending on how much you've actually spent on that tour, that can be good or bad. So I've got a one, so now I'm going to show you the efficiency. So I've got a one tile rare, which is a lot of war. So I'll pop that there. And I, I've got a fake, got one fake tile only. as well. Yeah, for your bonus. So I'll put that there, and you see the boost that's got that going to give. That there's a hard cap, but 
it's just it's just using using what I what you get to, to maximize like yeah maximize how much you can get out of this. Still got a few fights I haven't built yet. Has it already gone through it? So you can already see over the guests that they're they're thinking of the tour from a two to a three star tour, uh, and then over time that will gradually decrease as they get more bored. Um, so you need to make sure that the time um, that you've set the tour, how long it takes, is equal to how good the relics are in the tour. And then depending on their happiness as well, yeah. they, the, the scores go up or down. Yeah, sorry. The, the happier they are, they can actually think that your tour is worth more than it is. Uh, and the other way around as well, if they are unhappy, they will give you a lower, a lower score. So outside of the tour, it's still really important to make sure your guests are well fed, watered and have a toilet. So basically right now, they, the tour lacks all, so it doesn't have much uh, Impressiveness. This was before, this was the tour before now, before we placed the dyno. Exactly. So now it should go up. I'm going to increase yeah. the speed a bit, just so the guy goes yeah. around, so we can see it even more. Now when the guy lands, when they come back. The, oh, it should go up. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. So it's now two point one. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff. <laughs> and if you get out. an epic in there, it's just going to get even better. One of the criteria is actually to have an epic. To to be able to have a five star tour, you need at least one epic in the tour. Um, you gonna buy some land? No, how about money? <laughs> well, just about. But mm. well, look, we, haven't, we haven't bought land in a long time. So we'll show that off in a bit. How's the oh, yeah. fake research going? Is it just getting more interesting? You have this diamond block now. That's always good. Ooh, that's that's always good. good. And I'll build that now, actually. If I've got money. Yes. Oh, nice. We'll talk about this. There's a guy there. Come on, security guard. Turn around, man. Oh, no, he's not going to get in time. In time. So now's probably hands. a good time to talk about security. Yeah, so now the security guard will actually. Oh, and the guy <laughs> there! Uh, the, the security guard. I was a bit of an overkill. The security <laughs> guard will puff fine outside of his patrol. Uh, so he's smarter now. He will puff, actually find the thief, he one vision code, and kick his ass. Yeah. Yeah, so if, if anything happens outside of his patrol, so if the donation box is full, if you see the thief trying to steal, he will actually get out of his patrol, go out there, do what he's got to do. And then when everything is done and there's no other priority um, actions to be made, they'll go. They'll actually go back to his patrol. So they feel a lot smarter now. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the guy was facing the other way when the thief started stealing that, which actually shows quite a bit of character there. Yeah. Um, oh, we got. Oh, we already have one. Let's sell that. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be making some big improvements to the security system and, and how that plays out. Thieves at the moment, they come in, they steal a relic, and they leave. Uh, what we want is kind of more like a heist. So what will happen is these will come in groups and then each thief will have a specific job. So one might be disable all of your cameras, another might be distract the guard, while the other guys um, call in the <coughs> guys from above to pick up your relics. So we're going to be working on that and making sure that's much, much more uh, in depth and gives you a lot more control as well. For example, your security guards will be able to level up, uh, you'll be able to place control towers, you'll have more control over how the cameras work. Um, because we really want, because if we're going to beef up this system, you need to be able to have some more control. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's going to be one of the first things we're working on outside of uh, Alpha 3. Uh, and we're quite excited about it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, uh, what else do you want to show in the, in the park? Yeah, yeah. This, is, this, is, this playthrough is mostly to show you how, how we set up things, really. Um, at this point, I would probably expand into that small room, yeah. just because it's nearby. Um, build a few things. We'll keep on sending our guy out. I haven't got enough um, yeah. money for that. But I'll keep sending people out, get some epics in. And I'll, at this point, because this, this, this tour is actually quite profitable right now, I think it would be time to get new relics, improve, get a new tour in there, maybe upgrade that since I've got some money. Send a lot of guys out. Keep an eye out for that black market. That's the best. You, you yeah. get so many good deals out there, or you can get good deals. So it's it's good to open it every month. We think the way we've got it right now, you miss it a lot. And a lot of people in um, we got a lot of feedback from people that were missing the black market. Yeah. So you need to try and find a way to make that more apparent and more yeah. more important as well. Yeah. Improve how we telegraph that to the player. Yeah. And uh, we we believe sound is yeah. going to make a huge difference. Yes. And the, the first. The alpha before the one we sent this last week, we people didn't even care about sound, and they didn't realize because we had so many, so many uh, placeholder objects and so yeah. many placeholder UI. But now that things are starting to look more final, a lot of people were like, "Where's the sound? I yeah. swear there was sound last time." Yeah, well, like, there wasn't. <laughs> there wasn't at all. But I, I, I can understand them now yeah. because things look like the game is already further along. Further along, yeah. we expect sound to be there. And next alpha, we will have sound. And yeah, for alpha four, we'll have sound for definite. 
uh, or you know, in terms of placeholder of where you click and yeah, so you can actually fill fill things. Uh, but yeah, I think yeah. that's that's enough to to show. To now show, we just yeah. have to show you a bit of the gameplay and uh, what, what what we've been doing, what's solid, and the direction our guards and guests are going to go. Yeah. So yeah, thanks again to everybody who played Alpha Three. We really do appreciate the feedback. Keep it coming. It's been great. Uh, we've got great um, feedback on the Reddit, and we've got, got great feedback through emails as well. Um, so yeah, th thanks again Excellent. to everybody. Cheers, guys. See Thank you next you. week.